Welcome back to the BAME Roundtable discussion. In this episode, what I want to do is highlight the MS BAME program's relationship with SAS, which has just been fantastic over the last few years. Every year we have SAS trainers come on campus and teach our students either the language or some of the technologies that a lot of companies are using in industry. One of the things that we wanted to do this year is not only have the trainers come and teach our students, but we wanted to take it to the next level because that's what we do here in MS BAME. This year we set up a boot camp on SAS-based programming where not only did the trainers teach the students SAS-based programming in two and a half days, the students also took the SAS-based programming certification after the fifth day. This year we had 51 students participate in that event. 19 of those students felt like they were confident to sit for the industry certification after day five, and it turns out that 17 out of 19 of those students passed the industry certification. Here I got three students that were among those 17 that passed the certification. Uh, Robin Jindal, Shrishti uh, Bissin, and Mohindar Goyal. So welcome to the round table. So why don't you guys tell me a little bit you know about this, the the boot camp that we just held. Oh, the SAS is a technology which is widely used in the industry. You won't believe that it's generating. Last year, it generated around 3.2 billion revenue, and it's used across 120 countries, and more than 850,000 computers are using it. So it was a great exposure for us to learn there. And the workshop which was there, the Chris and the Rebecca, they were great in teaching us all those things. And it's a great platform for a beginner like me to enter into an industry like this. I believe in the bootcamp there was something for everyone. Be a person, an expert at SaaS or an intermediate at SaaS. You would learn something in this bootcamp. Have you guys used SaaS before? I have used SaaS before coming to Purdue. I have used it at my workplace. We used to uh, do financial modeling for a financial firm. So we use SaaS for data modeling, data visualization, as well as modeling, stress-based modeling. I have had no previous experience in SaaS, and this was the first time I came across the language. But right from importing data to performing various data manipulation techniques, I learned everything in this bootcamp. So it was very nice. What value do you think you get from actually having an industry certification? I think that this certification will set me apart from others in the job market because SAS is one of the most popular statistical languages used by industries, especially uh, healthcare and banking. So when I tell my potential employers that I know SAS, they don't have to take my word for it because I have the validation from SAS itself now. I totally agree. So before I came back into academia, I was a senior data scientist for a company. And a lot of times, I don't think people realize uh, when you're interviewing candidates or you're looking at resumes, a lot of times people put the same skills on there. And maybe you don't realize you're not really differentiating yourself. People will have SAS, Python, R, SQL, whatever. Uh, but to have an industry certification, at least for me, that's going to make the, de the hiring decision, it makes me feel a little more at ease to see that you know, there's some level of expectation and knowledge that I know these, these people possess. Also, I believe uh, instead of just having the knowledge, you should be able to apply these things. Like you should be able to apply, uh, you should be able to show the application of these technologies in the form of a project or a certification. A certification is even better because there is a trust of stamp with it. I totally agree. So even if you don't take the certification, it's not like you don't know SAS. It just, it kind of gives a level, uh, it shows what you do know. But doing projects is also another great way to demonstrate your SAS skills. And of course, that's what we do here in BAME all year long. What advice would you guys give others about preparing for the SAS-based certification? SAS-based program is just like you have to must go for a student who is looking forward to have a career in the analytics field. And especially the training, which uh, the Chris and the Rebecca, they were fantastic. The way they taught us the tricks, how to remember those things. And even whenever I had a doubt, I was in, it's good to have a teacher in person rather than I should go for an online course. So it was a great experience for me. I would advise the candidates to be like, become accustomed to the SAS environment, the SAS ex exam environment. Because like in the SAS exam, you cannot use in notes. So you have to become accustomed to using SAS help. Also, uh, like give the practice exam before the SAS exam itself. And I would also advise them to go through SAS Essentials 1 on SAS website because that will help them to build the base for the language before they start the bootcamp. Did you feel the, the practice exam was similar to the actual exam? 
Yeah, I felt that. Also, the questions were of the same level, I believe. Okay. It was a great boot camp, and congratulations to you guys for passing the, uh, the SAS-based certification. Uh, again, I want to thank SAS for continuing to partner with Purdue's MS Bain program. Boiler up.